Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how our ears allow us to hear. Every day we are surrounded by lots of different sounds and our ears help us hear these. The ear can be divided into three parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer part of the ear is shaped like a funnel and it's called the pinna. This shape enables the outer ear to gather sound. The sound waves then travel down into the ear canal. At the end of the ear canal, sound waves reach the eardrum. The eardrum separates the outer ear from the middle ear. This membrane vibrates when the sound waves strike it. It then vibrates in the same way that the surface of a drum may vibrate when it is struck. The vibrations from the eardrum pass to the middle ear which contains three small bones. The malleus which is called the hammer, the incus which is sometimes called the anvil, and the stirrup which is called the stapes. The hammer passes the vibration to the anvil and the anvil passes this to the stirrup. The stirrup vibrates against a thin membrane that covers the opening to the inner ear. The membrane channels the vibration into the fluid of the cochlea. It is a snail shaped tube that is lined with receptors that respond to the sound. When the flu fluid in the cochlea vibrates, it stimulates receptors. Sensory neurons then send nerve impulses to the cerebrum through the auditory nerves. And then these impulses are interpreted as sounds that you hear. The ear also is important for balance and it has what are called semicircular canals that help you regulate your balance but I'll cover that in another video so there we go we have the ear it has three parts and three tiny bones but it allows you to hear thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day please subscribe and share